Hi everybody out there. It's me again, Peter, for another you're back for another video, another album review, and the same band as the last to review. This time it's gonna be Power Slave from 1984. Their fifth studio album contains eight tracks. I'll just go through the tracks. Ace is high, two minutes to midnight. Lost for Words, Big Aura, Flesh of the Blade, The Duelists, Back in the Village, Power Slave, and Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. So there we have it. Now, this is one of my favorites by them. Um, I did a video, as I said a while back, I had it in my top five. I think I had number three, but you know, I'm further um, in with. Um, I think it probably is my favourite um, uh, album now. I, I had, I think I had it at number three, but I think uh, this could be probably my favourite. But yeah, I might do a, one of those videos later on. But back to the album. Um, Aces High, one of their a great song, uh, one of their best songs. Uh, they've done it many times live, and just comes out of the gates and. Uh, Bruce is um, Bruce, a great vocal from Bruce, and just uh, a top-notch song, really good. Now, two minutes to midnight starts off. It's got a great opening riff, and um, it's uh, six minutes plus. It's a, a little on the longer side, and um, again, um, it's one of the big hit, the songs from the album as well. Another great song. So. Um, it starts off, this album has got uh, one of the best um, opening two songs on uh, a start to an album of any album, I think. There's, well, there's quite a few albums like that, but you know what I mean. Um, now, track three, Lost for Words, Big Aura, the instrumental, it's, I find it pretty lame. It brings the album uh, down a bit. It's just a uh, labouring instrumental. It's not, I don't find it that interesting. And I consider it a, a, to be honest, a dud track. I just, um, you know, you find instrumental, some are interesting, some aren't. So they've got to be a bit more interesting. If it's not a song, they've got to, the instrumental has, the music has to be a bit more interesting. And I just can't, I can't see it in this uh, instrumental. It's just a, a laborious instrumental for me, but that's how I see it. Now, Flash of the Blade, uh, that's an excellent song. Not as good as the first two songs on the album, I would say, but um, a very good song. I enjoy, I enjoy Flash of the Blade. And The Duelist as well, another very good song. Uh, and, yeah, I put it it's, uh, in the very good category, I would say, for me. And then uh, we get to back... back Back in the village. Now I love always love this song. It's um I find it catchy. Um yeah, it's just um the races along and it's one uh, one of the best on the album for me. Uh, Back in the village. I really like it. Now we get to Power Slave. Uh could be my favorite song on the album. Could be my favorite song on the album. I really love it, still love it. It's just it's one of Owen Maiden's greatest songs for me. Um, uh, uh, just uh, it's a, it's just real good, and uh, it's a bit on the longer side as well. Five, six, I think it's six minutes or so. Correct me if I'm wrong, <laughs> but it's um, yeah, it's uh, it's one of their best, and they they did it live as when I saw them one time. The only time I've seen them, I did it live, and uh, it's a it's a it's an awesome track. And it concludes with uh, Rhyme of the Ancient Marrow. This is an epic, uh, epic track. Um, it's got a bit of spoken word in it. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's got catchiness. It rocks along. It's got sl uh, slow parts, fast parts. And it's just got everything in a song. And the song is good as well. You need the song to be good. It's just a matter of having different... Um, influences there the song has to be good as well and it, it, it really comes through and it's a, it's a, a epic song and it 
the first two songs and the last two songs of this album are just awesome and Back in the Village. Now, you, Flash of the Blade, The Duelists, good songs. But, and Lost for Words, it's the only clunker I can see in the lot, really. When somebody asked me what are the bad songs, it's the only the instrumental I can see. But uh, yeah, Flash of the Blade and Duelists for me, just a bit under the rest. But those four other five songs are awesome, I believe. So, here for a rating. Um, well, I gave Number of the Beast 10, and I thought about giving that 9 because I had a couple of songs I wasn't big on. But I guess I'd have to give this 10 as well, although the the two, the two or the other two, two or three songs I don't like as much are probably better than the other songs from the, the Number of the Beast album. So I think I have to give this a 10. It's one of their best albums. For me, this one, um, yeah, from um, 1984, Power Slave. So there's my review. Hope you liked it. What do you think of this album? Uh, for me, as I said, it's only got that one, that instrumental that uh, uh, pulls it down a little, but I'll still give it, as I said, I'll still give it a 10. So there you have it. Now, hope you enjoyed it and let me know what you think of it and uh, put your comments down below and I'll see you all again for the next video. Bye for now, bye.